Perfect. We're going to be showing you guys how to trade glitch for any QB in a fantasy draft. There are many different ways to get any quarterback you want. We're going to be showing you guys our SAR method. Now, many of you guys have seen our SAR method a million times. Um, and we're going to show you it in a fantasy draft format just so you guys are polished up on it. There are also two different styles of the SAR. There's the two wave and then the five wave. If you want to know the five wave, it's going to be in the link in the description below. Both methods work and both may have to be used in order for you to get the quarterback that you want. But we want to make sure all you guys can get any quarterback you want. You guys can enjoy this. You don't have to be league commissioner. Uh, you just have to be smart with how you do it. Pay attention to the video and you guys will be good. Uh, you also don't have to move them to a punter and then ruin their ability. So let's get into this. Uh, I just picked the Cardinals here, and I'm just going to basically simulate as, as much as possible. I'll uh, probably simulate until, I don't know. I mean, I'll just simulate to the end of the draft. It really won't matter at this point in time. It's going to work regardless. Also, guys, we really need your guys' help to get us to 50 followers on Twitch. So please follow us on Twitch to help promote our site and our channel. We cannot thank you enough. Make sure to help us out for all the hard work we do by leaving us a like, a comment down below, sharing our videos, and subscribing to our channel, while also heading to our website after the video is over and clicking on our Madden group, joining that Madden group, and checking out our other Madden content like our players to trade for list. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and get merched up. It's nothing personal, baby. It's just business. Also, check out our new merch site. We have a link in the description down below. We also want to thank all of our members, our Patreon supporters, and our stream viewers, all of you guys who come visit our streams, and it's, it's a blast. If you haven't checked out our streams yet, come check out our streams. You guys will have a lot of fun, and we apply a lot of the methods that we show uh, in those streams so you could see it actually work right in front of your face. So we just did our fancy draft and we just simulated and you guys aren't going to be simulating your fancy draft. So you have two ways of doing this. If you're planning on doing the SAR, you don't need to draft a really high end quarterback because you can pick whatever quarterback you want. So your whole goal is to make it easy for you to do the SAR. In order for it to be easy to, for you to do in the SAR, you either have to pick up an old guy who's a lower overall, like an 80 something, um, or a younger guy like Drew Locke here, which our CPU uh, simulated draft, they picked up Drew Locke for us, which wasn't too bad. Can't, can't complain there. Um, but you also would be wise to pick up two good quarterbacks, decent quarterbacks, like two of these quarterbacks like this, uh, you know, in the later rounds, uh, even one that's like a 67. 67 overall is basically your cutoff. However, I don't want to... I'm not going to risk it by going to a 67 overall, right? There's no real point. Now, the best opportunity to pick up another good guy would be going after a second stringer, right? Now, he's just making the SAR easier. Okay, so what I would do here is I'd go right guard. Now, there's no saying that he's actually going to uh, be able to be uh, picked up fairly easy. I mean, I want to see what his actual value is. Okay, so uh, I could pick up... Daniel Jones. The one thing about this is someone's always going to pick up a, a second corner a quarterback who, who's decent. Okay, so at this point in time, I could probably ask for picks back. You know, I'll get a six, probably even a fifth. I don't know, uh, but I'm getting a fifth back. So that set me up beautifully. Now it's very easy to do. Now I have the quarterbacks that I need to get done, and now you can choose which quarterback that you actually uh, want to pick up. So pick back up. So if I do the two wave SAR and it goes through, whatever quarterback I initially do it with is going to be released back to me. So let's say I wanted Danny Dimes instead of Drew Locke. Okay. So I would go to Seattle right now. I can't do it. I got to actually simulate. I forgot we're in preseason. And that's a very classic error that a lot of people make. Very classic error that a lot of people make. So I'm going to go to the regular season. Now, I have no worries that they're going to cut either Danny Dimes or Drew Locke because of their Start overall. The, the CPU is not going to do that. They're going to cut my goal. backup guy who's not very good. The other thing about a fantasy draft is it, there's just not a lot there. There's a lot of rookies. You can get a lot of young guys and build your team that way on free agency. Um, you know, some of them are okay at best. Uh, however, the quarterbacks are completely wiped out. I mean, this is the lowest overall that you're going to find out of any mode. 61 overall is incredibly low. And for him to be the top guy in the, the fantasy or top guy in the free agency tells you something. Okay. 
So now I'm at a 54 man roster. You need them to be at a 53 man roster. You like we said, you do this in week four preseason, but don't do it. I'd rather you guys do it in the regular season just to be safe because we don't want comments of people being like, yo, it didn't work. And it's just because you kind of didn't do it correctly. You messed some things up. Um, so also make sure to pay attention because this is hard stuff to do. It's not very easy. So what I would do here, if the two wave goes through beautifully, it would work like this. It'd be very easy to do. I would trade for a halfback because halfbacks are pretty easy, or I would trade for a backup of some sort. I have to keep them at a 53 man roster. So I could do something like this, trade for this lineman here. It'll go through. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to trade these three guys here. Okay, so Drew Locke shows that he's got a lot of value. Pat Mahomes is sitting there. Um, you know, can I get a second round pick of next year for, for Locke? I can. So picks show the same value. Now, all of a sudden, they need a quarterback. Why is that? Because they just dropped uh, Pat Mahomes and they dropped uh, Danny Dimes at the same time. So that's how you need to think of it. So you, whoever you're sending first in the two wave, now the five wave is completely different. Okay, the five wave is completely different. But if the two wave doesn't work, you need to go five wave. Um, but this is how you can do it. If you can get Pat Mahomes, you can get anyone. And you know, with how easy we did it, any one of you guys could get any quarter, quarterback you want. So there's no real um, threat or real stress that you need to have that I need to get a quarterback or I'm not gonna win. Uh, something like that you know if you really need a good quarterback there's no point draft Danny Dimes draft another guy trade for these guys if you want even if I got no quarterback in the draft at all um, I could literally go no quarterback in the draft and just trade for backups like I did Danny Dimes and then you know get Pat Mahomes and then get Danny Dimes back too and then you know you could grab him at this point and uh, you know I'm sure Danny Dimes is going to show extreme value or they have drew lock so they might not and you could probably even trade danny dimes back to seattle and i'll just try it i'll just see what i could get for him um but since i have pat mahomes what's the point point? and now this also sets up a great opportunity for you so they don't like him even though uh, they show that they need team needs that's because his overall is too close to drew locks and drew locks uh, i think a star development or maybe a normal i can't tell but he's young and uh, the CPU is recognizing that, so they're not seeing as much value into him. Now you could do the contract reset method, our contract reset method, you can do a lot of different methods. You can sign these guys cheap. It, it works out perfectly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell. Make sure to follow us on Twitch, please, and thank you. Leave us a comment down below, click the notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.